you know, tweak how to switch off of Kazuya to Terry to pull out their uh, game. What are they doing? What is the Toon Link? The we're have, we're are having they? fun. We're, we're just goofing? We're just Wednesday night goofing? Goofing on a Wednesday night, y'all. I, I I didn't actually see. Are did they pick random or are these like no, premeditated? These are, these are premeditated picks. They're like, man, I haven't played these characters in a long time. I want to have fun and show off for the boys and girls at home. <laughs> oh my god! All right, John sure. numbers with we got, an amazing spike there. We got a grand finals that looks like this with the John numbers tune link. Honestly, y'all thought that the the John Numbers Me Swordsman was a deep pocket. We got the John Numbers Toon Ling. He had to reach through the hole <laughs> in his pockets. Pulled that one from like the ankle holster. <laughs> Honestly, Ooh. I here's the thing. I I know that like we're goofing and everything, but I really do love seeing like these top players playing other characters that they've been obviously working on. Like these are good characters. They're doing well. I mean, the thing is, I believe that Fawn has a Rosalina. Like just That's the horrifying part. I, I've never seen it, but I believe it. I, the buzzer is at home, <laughs> just pumping his fist. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, speaking of which, Fawn finally kills uh, John Numbers' Toon Link here. Yeah, after that death at like 45%. Oh what my gosh. That? So the forward tilt hits both of the back yeah. and the front and will pull you like, forward. He, he, he winds it up. Yeah, it's like Isabelle's fishing rod. <laughs> All right, back right, throw. Back throw. Not gonna Almost going to be doing it. John just beating up on the Luma. If there's, like, priority number one in this matchup, it's that Luma. Absolutely. All right, the, uh, man, I forget what the name of that move is. The up special. I think, I want, I know, like, everyone calls it Hero Spin. I think Hero it, Spin is just the name of the Mii Swordsman move. And no, I, no, no, it is Hero Spin. I played Wind Waker. Yes, yes, actually. Okay. I'm, I'm never, I'm never quite sure. If you haven't played Wind Waker, I think that's your homework for the weekend. In one weekend? That's yes, it's a that very short game. And very easy. All right, right now, though, John trying to make this Grand Finals game look easy, having a, a good stock lead and only 104. Meanwhile, the percents are climbing for Fawn. Both these characters Ooh. are very light, and yeah, that that up air from Rosalina is just like Palutena's. It's insane how hard that hits. It is very scary, especially with the Luma. <laughs> the pushback wow. on the down air. It does have an air box. All right, forward throw, putting it in a good situation. I don't, I'm gonna have to see a clip on that bomb because I don't understand how it just stayed there. All right, John, All right. trying to find a way back down. Yep, Fawn, unfortunately, without Luma, not going to be able to find any, like, really super meaningful juggle. And wow. the up special is absolutely going to be taking it. John, with the first game. Let's go. John numbers two link. I need, I need them to, to continue the bit. You Yo, know? Shout out if, to the Department of Sanitation I don't, I on, hate that, this. Uh, on that beanie. We love our boys in green. Let's go. Pac-Man? We're vibing. Stop Let's oh, go. No, we we got random, random dittos. See, All like, right. I would have been mad if... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're sorry, John. We're sorry. Good luck. Oh, boy. Marth Game & Watch. Here's the thing. Fawn does have a Marth. Yeah, yeah, I believe that too. I gotta take oh, some notes. Big damage right now with these tipper down airs. And especially with a character like Mr. Game & Watch, he's gonna be exploding real quick. Right, but the good thing is that Mr. Well, unfortunately, John doesn't really know how to play Game & Watch, so we'll see if he uses his, uh, you know, oh. Oh, his trampoline to advantage. All right, no, no, going for, going for the funny <laughs> numbers instead. Going for hammers, trying to keep, keep Fawn at bay with the, the bacon. Ooh, okay. I like the coverage with the forward air bombs as well. Oh, oh great. slide in F tilt. Going to be catching John. All right. Making good use of the dancing blade. All yep, right. Numbers trying to keep the pressure up with the bombs, but Fawn with the low recovery. Not going to be phased one bit. Wow. Ooh. I thought that was going to be a big confirm from Fawn. 
the SDI oh, no. in from John. Okay, not gonna be enough to make it back. Yeah. Magnet hands are not that strong. This is not melee. Uh-oh. Alright, John. With some great low conversions. Nope. That's a punish. Catching fun, trying to reversal a little bit too quickly. The shield breaker coming through. Actually low profiling the last hits of the neutral air. John going for some funny numbers once again. All right, John, hoping for the big number though, the nine. I feel like this this song really accentuates like just the no! goofiness of this grand final. All right, set. we are one just stock like that apiece. SD does. All right, John, if you can pull this out, is your Xeno 291 champion, but just needs a good number nine. If please if, judgments. If John wins with like wins the 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 tournament with this game, then and he watch. <laughs> well, then he, he has to have Mr. Game and Watch on the graphic. Yes. Like, yep, that's, no, a, that's how you won Xeno. Uh oh. No. John now certified Mr. Game and Watch player. Mr. Game and numbers. Uh oh. Well, that okay. being said, though, Fawn really making this tough for John, keeping him here at the ledge. Woo. Okay. Good patience okay. from Fawn. Uh -oh. Oh my god, the sword actually ate the bomb? Yeah. Ooh. Bomb loses anything in the air. Oh no. Deleted. All right, that's a two. Oh, John's been having real bad luck with the no! hammer. And the up tilt takes game two. Bond being like, we're coming, yeah! we're coming to game yeah. three on grand finals. All right, John, considering another random selection. Will they, will they continue the bet? You know what? We've come this far. You gotta commit Honestly, to the Honestly, at this point... Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's see, let's Random see number generator. Let's see what the heart oh, of the no! cards. <laughs> <laughs> This is so unfair! Fawn went this from... This is a loaded die. From Marth to easier Marth. Good gracious. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, John has gotten like every like weird kind of zonery character in the game, other than the one that he actually plays. <laughs> game is like adapt, adapt. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this Jeez. is looking rough for John. Oh, he's no. dead. Good night. And we'll see you all for Xeno 292 next time. Gotta, we've still got another set if Vaughn wins this. <laughs> That's fair. If and when. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Vaughn does reset the bracket, they need to continue to keep going random. Like, that. that is... You have to. True Grand Finals random? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my no. Goodness. All right, going in deep. Oh, right, we tech those. The tech, and John is back in it. All what John a, has what a to kill do confirmed by John. That's right. We tech those. I feel Good like confirm. John has not been playing Belmont at all this game. He's just been playing recovery game. He's like playing Kaizo Castlevania. I think that's just normal Castlevania. <laughs> at least the NES ones. The, the NES ones, yes. Except two. We don't talk about two. Uh, two's weird. Two, two oh, really okay. needs to remake. Oh, no. Oh, oh, didn't angle the F smash. John, you can angle that F smash up, John. John, why didn't you know come this, John? On, come on, John. John Belmont? <laughs> what is a man? A miserable pile of numbers. But enough talk. Have at you, Fawn. Oh no! Okay. Alright, not able to get the downer. John still technically in this. Uh, gonna be tethering back to the stage. Oh my and god. The back oh, throw? Alright. No, does John okay. does Ooh. John have the holy water angles? The answer is not. no. That's okay, it just needs the whip. All right, do it again. trying to go for a holy water gimp right there, but fun recovering low and not getting caught by it. Fun John is figuring out the character. Oh, no. Didn't yeah, get the confirm on the holy water, though. <laughs> He's just going for the forward tilt. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, the tether grabs. Okay, all right. No tippers, unfortunately. John is just pressing that big green button on the controller right now. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh. Almost Can't. getting caught by the axe. Unable. He's not even forward smashing. No, I think this is what's hurting me the most. <gasps> oh. Uses the air dodge early! Yeah, no! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Even sucks the beast! That, right. that is the most GG's we both played bad so, interaction uh, I've ever seen. Here's the thing. Who's going to SD first? That's a good question. John is figuring out Belmont, like, little by little. He's learning the character. 
I, I think he'd have like 5,000 GSP on Elite Smash with this guy. Isn't that not very much? Doesn't it go into like the hundreds of thousands? <laughs> Listen, he's learning, okay? He's, he's got to learn a, he's got to lose a, a few hundred games. He's like games wood first. rank. <laughs> Don't make fun of my wood rank. I earned that wood rank. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Catch on the tether recovery, and we're going to true finals, baby. All right, true grand finals. You can see John smiling under the mask. Do do they continue the bit? John's yes. laughing. They're they're both laughing. <laughs> I think this is the most fun that John has had in a while. <laughs> okay. Pause you got three. I'm calling it. No! Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Sephiroth! Okay. Sephiroth, alright. <laughs> John sounds so defeated. Yeah, uh, you too. I guess. Good games or whatever. Listen, I love that you turned to the camera. I mean, <laughs> Real office moment here. I mean, when you the gotta snatches. fight Marth into Lucina, I can understand <laughs> sounding as defeated as John did right there. Oh Whoop! no! Wait, they're gonna okay. make it. Not a, not a second one, John weaving on the outside there. All right, and as well, having to go low to avoid the Octa Slash. I missed the random button. I mean, Fawn's playing Sephiroth, so. We at least got like a little bit of, of goofiness. Yeah. You know, actually, that was awesome from John, having like the little uh, regular get up there to eat those uh, shadow balls. Ooh. Wow. Okay. No re grab punish. Oh, the spike on the forward air, but unfortunately, John not able to find the kill, but a tech on the Octa Slash. Oh, no. That was some kind of interaction. Fawn got ledge trump there and had already buffered the. <laughs> All right, never mind. I'll never speak again. No, honestly, we're, it was we're unfortunately our a shoulders. buffer. All right, but the three Shadow Flares on Do it again. Uh, he tried to. He wanted to. I mean, when you see the opportunity, you take it again. Yeah. If I they mean, don't learn, they're going to learn. Sephiroth with no wing. He's he's having a, a rough time making it back to stage. Well... Fawn is definitely not winging this character like the last ones. Ooh, all right, the aggressive blade dash back to stage. I like the idea. Oh, no. <laughs> the hit Saved stop. Him. The hit stop on the soccer ball got Fawn hit by the, uh, by no the way. hula hoops. Okay. Barely making it back there. Fawn trying to look for any forward tilt there. Using that range Ooh. to their advantage. Okay, forward air not taking it twice in a row. All right, John doing a great job. What? Yeah. That counter sucks! <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh. <laughs> can, we, can we get an instant replay of that? That was amazing. There's no way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. I think it's because your boobs are considered an article. Bye. Right there. Later. Stomp. That's so funny. You know what? John needed that after both Marth and Lucina. Uh, that was vindication, really. All right. Fun bringing things back with the Bayonetta, which was absolutely doing work in winner's finals. Yeah, I do think this is a great character counter uh, we fit with. Now, she does only have two games to play with the Bayonetta because, I mean, we are best yes. of three. That's right. So we don't do best of fives here for winners, no. losers, and grants. No, 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 no. We have we have day jobs to get to. <laughs> Exclamation point BO3 in chat, please, for anyone who doesn't know. All right, Educate but, your fellow viewers, folks. Let's see if the Bayonetta is still warm after the random dittos plus one game, one extra game of Sephiroth as a treat. Oh, yeah. Bayo always runs hot. Oh, got to be careful of that forward air spike coming out from John, looking for a reversal, as he is off known to do. All right, Fawn being very careful with Bayo's recovery. Ooh. Trying not to SD like they did last set. Deep breathing header. Deep breathing still online right now. Fawn has to be very careful going in with an aggressive counter, but John not able to find the punish on it. Unfortunately, not biting. Ooh, okay. Great little red hot kick. Honestly, I wonder if there there's some sort of like 
long-term mental game from Fawn, like, especially, like, going the game one Sephiroth, like, I'm not gonna let you download the oh, Bayonetta. Untackable situation. That's true. That's true. Well, it was technically game one, what, uh, Ryu and Samus, but we don't count that. That was a mulligan. I, that was, that was still bracket. That, I think that was still just part of the, uh, Right, it was. The, the random bracket. But they started over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, all right. Fawn's still looking to find this first stock. All right, Up tilt into back air. He's going to be taking it. Yeah, 161, he can't be missing that. Anything more, it's Ooh. just going to become untenable to kill with Bayo. All right, Fawn trying to play the patient game, not running to deal with the invincible John. Oh, Fall. no! Did that save Saved him? John! Oh. I think I think John was definitely dead there, but got yes. caught, clipped by the Witch Twist. All right, yeah, yep. still still have his jump, still ready for the tech. Oh my God, what a situation! Oh. All right, okay, ooh, some great thinking there with the uh, the down air, but unfortunately that heal isn't gonna connect. Some great spacing there from Fawn with that down tilt. Yep. Oh no! Oh, the, the surprise header, very quick coming out from John to uh, keep Font at bay. Jab sequence Aneta. with the soccer ball, getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of extra damage. Down tilt, no deep breathing online for John means that Font's gonna be living just a oh little bit gosh. longer. This is very that. scary. Yes. Ooh. All right, that's gonna kill. Ooh, even without deep breathing, just barely able to get the kill. Fawn going for the forward smashes, getting punished heavily as they are just ran out of invincibility. All right, going for the upper stock. Takes it, 1-1. One, one. Fawn yep. can still bring this back. Dead even game. Going to see if Fawn can bring us to a game three or if John's going to be taking Xeno 291 home. This Ooh. is home. <laughs> it's, it's home to John. <laughs> he lives here. Oh, what? No, okay, no, we're living. fine. We got, we got Jade. It's fine. Okay, I think that's huh? it. There we go. True. This is <laughs> this the most grand finals of all time. It's pretty grand. The the grand finals. Honestly, I'm loving this. This is th this is content right here. Peak content. Okay. When you go, I feel like everybody has different luck when it comes to random. Uh, who do you usually get when you hit the random button? I get some, just some whack-ass character that I never play, like Min Min or something. I usually get Piranha Plant and I don't know why. Speaking of I don't know why, game three, Weepa Trainer versus Bayo. Yep, they're continuing the, uh, or not continuing the bit, rather, just sticking with the the mains, John with the open your heart counter pick, which very good. Def definitely a, a top tier music counter pick. Oh, that's right. I gotta remind Google that we still have to talk about uh, Sonic <laughs> Adventure 1 and 2. Hello? John? Where, where'd we go? Just kind of ran out of resources there at the ledge and just gave up stock one. That's all right. You know, he just needs that refresh of stock. <laughs> it's such a bad sign. <gasps> oh, oh my parry. god! That was triple. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Yeah. Fawn played very patiently here. Yeah, Fawn absolutely not going to be letting that first stock go to waste. Going to be looking for all the conversions to just get some great extra credit. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Some spare loops. Oh, unfortunately not safe on shield. But that's okay. Easy recovery. Yep, John taking the time to get some deep breathing for himself. Going to be looking to explode this Bayonetta stock as oh, early no. as possible. But a nope. forward air chain is going to be putting John on tournament stock. Wow. Three stocks ahead. Here's <laughs> the thing. This is very dangerous for John because Bayo can have some insane early kills as long as they are crazy enough to go for them. Yeah. I mean, we've hit the chorus of the song, so this could be John's power up if he's able to mount the comeback. Are we going to see an end to the game before the chorus hits, though? That's going to be sad. Open your heart. Oh, okay. Wait. All right. Oh, that okay. Fawn is throwing away their first stock. That's okay. One stock apiece. Technically, no, Fawn still has two. No, I know. First stock. Yeah. Technically, the start of a comeback for John. Not quite finding a kill of any sort. Just uh, exhausting Fawn's resources at the ledge. 
I have to figure something out in this uh, in these last two stocks. Uh -oh. But another this forward air it. chain delaying no. it a little bit to try and get John as close to the blast zone as possible, but John able to air dodge out of the way. Uh oh. Very patient of ledge. Oh, not Which able to get the timing. Oh no. Ooh. Honestly, okay. that I don't know if that would have killed, but it I might don't. with deep breathing, that much charge and rage on the board. It would have been uh, difficult. Yeah. But it would have been close. Okay. Oh my gosh. Back here just going right through the full sun salutation. I'll take your notes. John is starting to mount that comeback. Deep breathing down tilt as well. Now putting Fawn's second stock on notice. Deep breathing forward throw. Not quite just yet. Okay, but that soccer ball's in play. That sun was in play too. John at 102 Ooh. can still make it. <laughs> <laughs> this might be it. Nope. Oh, but the guns. Oh, all okay. right. I think Fawn was using the guns to try and disincentivize the header right there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. What are these conversions? John playing so safe right now. Oh, no. The <laughs> guns delaying that punish just a little bit. Yeah. Just enough for John not to smash. What you were pointing out earlier, the bullet arts only gets the weak hit Ooh. of the back air and not finding the guns either. Almost not. Almost Another weak hit. Delane and the bullet arts take it. Fawn wins Xeno 291. With maybe the most scuffed grand finals of, of all time, but, you know, those last two games were real. Those were and th honestly they were, great games. I mean, they were, they were real enough for Fawn to win the tournament. Hey, the, yeah, the other set was definitely real. You can even see, if, if we can see that uh, last stock again, yeah, John, if we, if we can... John had the angle of the soccer ball, but Fawn was protected by the platform. Oh, you're Look right. This. Let's see here. E yeah, directly on the head. And is, was it the on. last bullet that got him? It w no, it was that like second, second to last, last one. one. Wow, right by the ankles. Yep. Oh, oh man. Bounced off the pole. Yep. Oh, how exciting, though. And that is Fawn taking Xeno 291. Woo! Hello? Did I just hear the CDI King in my ear? Yes. Okay. My boy! Well, that's fitting because it's time for dinner for me. Aw. Oh, I eat dinner before this. You see, you gotta do the big brain plays. Eat dinner early. You can't do that? <clears throat> Real New Yorker over here. Nah, I get, I get like late lunches. Ah. All right. But anyway, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here at Xeno291. Make sure you guys are following House on all of the applicable social medias. Make sure you are signing up for Xeno300 and Xeno Saga, the other one. Absolutely. Saturday, May 13th, and uh, Xeno300 is July 5th. So be sure, if you're going out for July 4th weekend, don't. Stay in town. No, stay in come, town. Come to Xeno uh, 300. And also make sure you guys are doing the Macharino exclamation point Macharino in chat for free money to add to the pot for Xeno 300. And if you're looking to make a, maybe even a little bit more money, make sure you're coming out to catch the bounties on some top player heads. That's right. 10 cents right here. <laughs> top it's player. Free. Top player. And, of course, make sure you are signing up for Defend the North July 14th just after Xeno uh, 300. Uh, make sure you guys are signing up soon. Yep, definitely play Smash, play any other fighting game. There is, uh, what is it, a $1,000 pot bonus guarantee for Smash? That's big money right there. That's big money. You got to go take it. That's like half a rent. <laughs> got to go do it. God, I wish it was half a rent for oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm Swiss Rider. Be sure to follow me on Twitter until Blue Sky launches. <laughs> and I'm Force Armor. You can follow me at Force Armor for all my whack-ass video game takes. And we will see you next week right here at Zeno Weekly. <laughs>